Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be doing a Zen, uh, Zen Tangle video and this video will show you how to do Zen Tangles and the purpose behind doing those is to relax, to calm down, maybe to turn off some of those things we have in our head and when we just want to calm down for a little bit. So I'm going to start by showing you the materials we'll need which we will need in a piece of paper. It can be any size, really. I like working with small, small sizes for centangles just because you can start making them really small. Uh, if you have a bigger paper, uh, you can keep going, but if you only have, let's say 10 minutes, five minutes, and you just wanna do something small, even cutting this in half will be great. For the materials to use, you can use markers, crayons, color pencils, anything. I am going to be using this pens right here. And you can even do just a pencil if you want it, that's all you have. Uh, but I like to put color uh, just because that helps me. So we're going to get started. Before we start uh, getting into the actual Zentangles, I want you to take just a second to find a comfortable seat. Um, a lot of people choose to sit on the floor actually and uh, have like a little blanket and just feel relaxed. You can play some music if that helps you. Um, you can also, uh, if you're in a chair, just make sure you're sitting straight in a com uh, comfortable position so that you relax, not just mentally, but also physically. And then just take a deep breath. And then out, make sure you count five seconds in. And then let it out for five seconds. So do that three times. Let's do it one more time, in. And out. And then one more time, in. And then out. So now we're gonna get into the actual video and I'm going to put my camera right there so that you can see what I'm doing. You can start, if you like I said, if you have a pencil, start with the pencil. If you're using colors, um, just pick one. Now Zen Tangles, it's just pretty much doing very random shapes and patterns and just starting. Um, so. A good way to start, I like to do a little square, for example, and then from there, you can start doing more. So if you can see, I'm starting a pattern right here. And then you can switch a color if you want, you can keep with that same color too. And then we're go I'm going to be doing just some circles here. There's no plan either. I'm kind of just going with whatever looks here that works. So when I put the squares, it looked like it was a good opportunity to put some circles. And then I'm going to switch to a different color. And I'm going to do a couple of zigzags. And you see there's really no plan pattern. You kind of just go with whatever that pattern you started takes you. Here looks like a good way to close it there. So I'm going to grab a different color and I'm going to do some more circles. That color is a little bit hard to see, but that's okay. This is just for you. And if you like the color, stick with the color. I'm going to grab a different color and I'm going to do a couple more zigzags. And sometimes you realize that as you're making these, there's like a shape, like mine's almost starting to look kind of like a, maybe resembles some sun rays. Sometimes when you're doing this and you start to think positive, you forget and turn off any other thoughts and feelings so that you can be calm. You start noticing that your drawings start looking like something very positive that makes you really happy. For instance, here, like a sun, or a sunshine, can be really good for you and for a lot of people, it puts them in a really good mood, me being one of them. So here's another one. Now for how long you do this for or how big these are, that's completely up to you. You can spend as much time as you want doing these. Um, there's not really right or wrong time. 
size, shape, uh, material waste, like I told you, you can really use anything, which is what I really love about these, because as long as you have a piece of paper, even if you don't and you happen to have like a napkin around and you just want to relax for a moment, you can, do, you can do that, which is great. So it's type of art that you can do anywhere with just really anything. And you see here, I'm just kind of filling in gaps. Um, music helps a lot. Um, I like to listen sometimes to um, piano music with no, with no lyrics, just a sound. And that's very meditating for me, so that helps a lot too. Let me show you here. So this is what I have. Uh, like I said, you can do anything. This is, but this is kind of like an example of what you can do after you do that. So take some time to do that for your soul and look at patterns, see what you like, what you don't like. And after you do that, just take a moment to look at it and do a couple more deep breaths. Um, you can close your eyes too and just uh, do some breathing for like five, five times, three times, as long as uh, you do a little bit that can help a lot. And you can do another one and you finish this one. You can always use the opposite if you happen to use a paper that was too small. Uh, but that's it. Just wanted to show you a simple way of doing these uh, that anyone can do it with any kind of material. And if you have any questions, you can always give us a call and ask. Hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a wonderful day and you try this.